There is not a drop of water in the ocean. It does not know and respond to the mysterious forces. It creates the tides. No other force that affects the tides is so strong. Tides are enormously more complicated than we can comprehend. Why is it that in one place the tide will rise 40 to 50 feet above its shores? The Bay of Fundy, Mountain of Russia, Canada. Why in another place, lying under the same moon and sun, the tide will rise only a few inches? What can be the next explanation of the great tides of the Bay of Fundy? Well, a few hundred miles south in Nantucket Island, on the shores of the same ocean, the tide ranges a little more than a foot. Tides can move the biggest vessels. At this point, you may say, is this a cross in the rosary or a short cross on an ocean island? <laughs> you may be waterlogged. Be patient. <laughs> the anchor chain has another enemy, if I may say, the current. I will not overburden you about current since it's a very scientific subject. However, to give you a brief, brief picture of currents, I can presume on your previous knowledge of currents. If you sometime been swimming in the ocean, you have felt the pull of a current. There are cold currents, and there are warm currents. Needless to say, they have a direct effect on our weather. The past few years, we all know about the disasters attributed to El Nino.
Now at last, here comes the rotary. As this anchor, this cross had lost its grip, it is the anchor. You let the drag, and he's dragging over. Never tried to get back into The few years I spent in the Pacific during World War II, I've seen many Christian cultures, but mostly Asian non Christian cultures. With one exception the Philippines, the Catholic jewel of the Pacific. See China, Formosa, Japan, New Guinea, the Remote Islands of Guam, Tinny, Saipan, Oceania, Guam, and Okinawa. Plenty of the cross. And the islands of Oceania was the Maris Falls. And each island I saw a crucifix above some Catholic church. There was a crucifix in Shanghai, the church which ran the Sacred Heart Church. In Sasebu, the Japanese priests, when they built the Sacred Heart of Jesus, he was trained by the Jesuits in Nagasaki. And of course, many crucifixes in the Philippines, not to mention the great Dominican University of Manila, Santo Tomas. In those areas, the cross has not lost its grip. The anchor is secured by the missionaries, and it does not drag in fact, it has a better grip now than was first planted on the soil. Out of the small tolls of the Pacific, like you listen and we talk. These are tremendous languages. There is paper. You know the belt way around Ocean 495. That's how big these are told stuff. They're enormous, but they're by the spots. They're very low. They have to reach all along the big circle. Languages. And even in sad names like Mardock and Gap, places I never heard of before. But a close order of that seven church. There was a cross in the distance, standing clear against the sky, the anchor of our faith, all was to say. Look around the world, see the cross the anchor. Now has a grip on the soil that once was a demand of the of God. The cross the anchor will never lose its grip. The anchor chain. Tides, the so-called tides of the world, they move fast, before you know it, the water 